This is actually pretty crazy. TikTok, you know, that really popular app that we all sit on and doom scroll for hours and hours and hours just to watch weird videos of cats, is on the path to being banned in the US, or at least it seems like it's going that way. Here's everything you need to know. White House endorses new Senate TikTok bill urges Congress to pass it quickly. As of March 2023, the White House threw its support behind a new bipartisan Senate bill on Tuesday that would give the Biden administration the power to ban TikTok in the US. Now, I don't know if I need to remind you of this, but currently within the US, the political situation is pretty dicey. It's one of those things where the left and the right seem to never agree on anything. And the fact that this Senate bill has bipartisan support kind of tells you how much our government is particularly against TikTok. Obviously, they're not going to be telling us all the information they have of why this is even getting to the level. This is one of a few bills now that have been particularly targeting TikTok, but the fact that we've seen so many and they commonly have bipartisan support at least tells me that something pretty nefarious is going beyond behind the scenes in terms of U.S. citizens' data and TikTok and where it's being sent and who it's being sent to. The legislation would empower the Commerce Department to review deals, software updates, or data transfers by information and communications technology in which a foreign adversary has an interest. This bill was dubbed the Restrict Act, which stands for Restricting the Emergence of Security Threats that Risk Information and Communications Technology. I don't get who is in charge of naming this stuff, but they need to do a better job. I mean, come on. Seriously, like just give us something actually realistic, not this thing that is just another word and another word and another word and it just keeps going and going and going. And then they're like, finally, we have the exact acronym we were looking at. We need it to be called restrict. This is what the White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan had to say. This bill presents a systematic framework for addressing technology-based threats to the security and safety of Americans. Sullivan even urged Congress to act quickly to send the bill to the president's desk. But first, let me check out a couple more cat videos. Critically, it would strengthen our ability to address discrete risks posed by individual transactions and systematic risks posed by certain classes of transactions involving countries of concern in sensitive technology sectors. It almost makes you wonder, <laughs> were these Chinese weather balloons the step that was just too far like we've known about tiktok for years and years and years but as soon as they flew a balloon over us they're like mm -mm, no more no one flies a balloon over america on my watch and then they just go and try to take out the most popular chinese app within america by its knees makes you wonder now to be fair and balanced i do want to let you know what the other side in this particular argument is saying i.e what is tiktok the company saying about it a u.s ban on tiktok is a ban on the export of american culture and values to the billion plus people who use our service worldwide we hope that congress will explore solutions to their national security concerns that won't have the effect of censoring the voice of millions of americans i love how they try to spin it of like a freedom of speech thing american culture yada 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 that that's not what the US government is complaining about. It's all about the data and what's going on with the phone. Many, many people who are far more intelligent than I am have looked into this app. They've reverse engineered it and they said it's one of the most sophisticated pieces of malware they've ever seen. It's not about the videos or anything like that. It's about the algorithm and what happens with the data. It's one of these things where TikTok, if it was a US company, they would probably be fine with it. Or even if the U.S. branch of TikTok was sold off to a U.S. company, they'd probably be fine with that. But obviously, with the tensions building up on a global scale, especially between the U.S. and China, this is serious to them. They don't want so much American data and anything that can be gleaned from that to be going directly back to China. Now, of course, TikTok says, no, 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 we totally don't do that. But come on, we might have been born at night, but we weren't born last night. Now, this leads me to a little bit of a tinfoil hat theory, and I would love to get your thoughts on it in a comment below, so make sure you do that. But I wonder if the US government kind of always knew this and was always looking for a way to get rid of TikTok. The issue is that it's installed in over 100 million phones here in the US. It's massively popular. 
And if you want to keep your job as a politician, typically you have to get reelected. So you don't want to do a thing that's going to piss off your constituents, at least not that much. So I wonder if they were awkwardly waiting around for something such as YouTube shorts to take off, or maybe they were waiting around for, I don't know, now Elon owns Twitter, Twitter owns Vine, they bought it back in 2016. Are they going to try to talk him into re-releasing Vine to the world? I mean, if that happened, I wouldn't be complaining at all. I love Vine. That would bring back a very important nostalgic sense in me. I would love for Vine to be back out there. And even Elon has kind of hinted at it. When he took over Twitter, he was saying that he might be bringing it back. So it's one of these things where that's my big tinfoil hat theory. Are they just waiting for the appropriate political cover fire to do what they need to do or what they at least perceive they need to do? And basically that's at least have an alternative, which in this case could be YouTube shorts or potentially even Vine. If you want Vine to come back, let me know by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate your time. I'll catch you in the next video.